doesn't look like we have anyone in here just yet, but we can go ahead and get started. have some more treasures to collect. How many do we have again? Like, 21? Yeah, so 10 more to go. And I don't think I can buy the last map yet. Nope, so... I think we are on the Area 3 bonus level. So yeah, we, the last one we did was the Area 2 one. Forgotten Ruins, and there's three treasures here, so... This should probably take a little while. Give us the second gear right off the bat. And the third gear. Most generous bonus level ever. Go in here first. This is probably one of those levels where you have to enter it multiple times. Oh, we got spikes coming up already. Oh, that's that's not gonna work at all. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we have to go up on the left side there. second slide. high enough so that we can drill through those blocks to the right. Oh wait, you gotta get rid of this one first. And then you... Okay, yeah, that's, that wasn't as hard as I was making it. So now we can jump on this one, jump over here, and drill to the right. Make it there in time. Aw, oh, man. I almost had it. Nope, Sly, that, that probably cost me the win. 
in right there. Oh, come on. Well, that that definitely did. Well, that no one's in here yet because I'm not making any progress. Okay, we're gonna do it this time. We already got the box in here, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Get this one and then slide across and we'll be good. Hey, Dragoon. Uh. <sighs> that was close. And there's our treasure. One down, two to go in this level. Barnacle coin. Each path in this level just dumps you off in the same area. Yeah, there's. You can see there were three different doors there that all lead to here. And then you just go outside, and that's the end of the level. In, go for the second one. So, one, as with the last time, they give you these gears right off the bat. Might as well kill this guy just because I can. So that one is low enough to block, so duck the first one, but block the second one. Duck these ones. Oh, uh, more of these. I remember I had issues with this in one of the earlier levels. that part. Oh, we got ghosts. Let's get these guys out of the way now. Ah, shit. <laughs> Man, I didn't want to fall down there. I should have just, like, stayed in a safe spot and took the damage. Oh, well. We got back up there. Yeah, the, these bonus levels, they, they have much trickier arrangements of obstacles. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad to get that treasure. What do 
we have here? Ancient Tablet. Down we go again, through the left door this time, so the last one must drop us off at the right door. again and see where the third path takes us. I see what we gotta do. So we, we gotta go up here again. Oh, not like that. And then use this jelly block to go back to the other side so we can be on top of this one. Uh, yeah, throw this one to the side. Drop down here. And now we can get up to that door. Hey, pizza. And we got more jelly blocks. Oh, and we got boulders. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, so you're not safe by hanging on to those. Let's let the next one go by. are safe if you go under here, though. What pizza? There. Oh, that's a tricky place to enemy. We can get... We can deal with that. Bounce ourselves this way. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. What do we do here? Oh, there's a block beneath us. Oh, okay, there's a platform to the left there. Nice, pizza. That, that's pretty awesome. Oh, shit. <laughs> Screwed that up. There we go. That, that'll work better. I think I'm just going to take the hit from this guy rather than avoid the poison and risk falling down. And there's our third treasure. Hey, Nostrika. Cow dust? First foot dust, and now we got cow dust? <laughs> and we ranked up. Safe cracker. Oh, 
all right. So we can leave this level. Move on to bonus area four. Better than cow pie, yeah, good point, Dragoon. <laughs> Flying level. Yeah, this came in dust. 0.54 away. Wow, that's really close. Uh, let's go up first. We got spinners here. Oh, they tricked me. I thought I was going to go back and forth the whole time. Okay, so you want to go over this mine. And that one. This was the wrong spot for me there. Second gear. Should be able to slide over here, yep. Bikes, mines, platforms, more spinners. And I gotta time that better. There we go. <laughs> that that was a cool jump. So we needed to go this way. So we should be able to defend ourselves by drilling downward so we don't hit the spikes like that. Climbing in this level. I hate turrets. Kill them. Okay, so we gotta get rid of these so we can clear the way for the mines. Oh, we got a 
up here. Okay, so I think we gotta wanna go down this side. There we go. Drill through these blocks over the mine. Free these ones. Obstacle course here, and I slid too far there. Thankfully, these turrets are not slime turrets. Some lateral lift here. that. There we go, that's how you get there. Let's try this way. Oh, I mistimed that totally. There we go. Yeah, these turrets are all defending each other. Probably don't really need to destroy them. I thought there was one more. I guess I got them all though. There is a treasure. Mask. That's the name of an anime. Not one I've ever seen, I've just heard of it. Okay, so that's the exit of the level, so I know there's there's at least one other path we can take, but there's still two more treasures here. Who we have now. <laughs> you never heard of it yet. It's not like a really popular one, I don't think. Okay, so we need 28 more before we can get the last map. I think I think it's about acting, if I'm not mistaken. down this way. <laughs> it is a very cute game, Nostrika, and it's very fun. I love how inventive the platforming is. What do we got here? Oh, so there were two of them. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. I think I only knew of the the remake. Let's look down. Because I can't see where this platform is. There it is. There's cops around here. We can free this platform. Hey, Buck. And there's second gear. I just 
tried to shift up as though I had third gear, but I don't. Can't even reach that. Okay, so we need to unscrew this and then make our way under. Or, no, actually we want to go up here. I, I, I see. I can't time this right, though. That's how you do it. That's probably just death. I see the treasure up there. I can. Ah, oh, that's. That's going to take some very quick uh, back-and-forth drilling. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Stinky Shroom, okay. And we ranked up again. Rogue. I'm guessing the third treasure is also along this path somewhere. Oh, what was I supposed to do about that? <laughs> that was fantastic. Just catapulted myself to death. I just wanted to see what was down there, if anything. some chips for that. Hey, Mr. Shadows. Um, oh shit, really? <laughs> that was a stupid jump. There, well, there is actually some, one of the treasures was old juice, but it was clearly a bottle of wine. I, yeah, I can't get out of that. I should just try to avoid this guy. Okay, at least we caught over here. <sighs> I was trying to drill the block up there just to see if there was anything useful in it, and Just ignore that, too. I can't even make that. Maybe I have to go up, then. I've, I've lost a full energy tank just from falling. Oh, well, third gear's up here. Oh, okay. I... Yeah, you need third gear in order to propel yourself farther from the jelly block. So we can go back down now. Whoa, almost <laughs> fell there. That, that's gonna be... Kind of tricky. I can barely see the platform when it makes its way to the left. Oh! <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna want to get rid of this block. Ah, I didn't mean to get rid of 
that too. I don't think I can reach it now. Although that may not be what I need to do anyway. Or is it? Not bad, pizza. I can't, I can't reach that. And oh wait, that's right. You can. I gotcha. The timed blocks are back. Uh, no, if you grab the bottom, it'll just shoot you back straight down. Jump up there. Oh, that's right. I remember how to do this. That this is pretty. This is pretty cool. What you have to do here. There we go. You have to time that just right so that when the block reappears, you land on it. I'm tr gonna drill the right correct direction. Nope, it needed to be L. Can never tell which way you have to go with the screws at first. over there. Oh, that that's going to be tricky. So I have to drop down there and drill into the right side of the screw and then jump off from there. <laughs> well, if you drill up, that's not going to work. Freaking GameCube D-pad. I thought on the other side of it you could do R, but you have to do L on both sides of it? Yeah, it, it would be, Sam. <laughs> the shoulder buttons are... they're like lifeblood in this game. Okay, so it's got to be L on both sides, and jump across what we got down here, rotating platforms. Okay, so we got to go to the right here. Yes and yes, Buck. This, this is probably one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games. I guess I gotta unscrew this, and then jump to it from this lateral lift. Yeah, there we go, and there's the third treasure. Eternal top. So I guess a top that spins forever. Done with that one. We should be able to buy the final map now. Yes, that's that's how I'm playing this with the Game Boy player. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, so we bought all the maps. I probably won't get enough chips to buy all the, the remaining energy tanks. But that's fine. I'm, I'm just concerned about getting the treasures. But now we gotta do this freaking level. I've, I've not been looking forward to this one. Oh, you lost the disc for you. Yeah, the guy I bought it from said that the the discs are like a lot more valuable than the actual console thing. Because he, he says he has like a lot more of the the consoles than he does of the discs. I, I don't even need to waste my time with this guy. Oh, no, wait a minute, I do need him. He has to launch me across, I remember this now. I timed that wrong, but oh well, he still got me where I wanted to go. Ooh, I almost missed that. That was close. Oh, Dra Dragoon, I yeah, I, I should have mentioned this. Um, since I'm playing it on the game the Game Boy player, the cartridge does not rumble, but instead the controller rumbles. I thought it was pretty cool how they actually programmed it to do that if you were playing the game on a Game Boy player. a whole bunch of cracked areas we can bust open. Oh, this health in the wall there. Yeah, these bonus levels are pretty tough. I guess I just go under without freeing these guys. Well, I guess I have to go up at some point. Oh, okay, so I wanna I do wanna make them fall. If they can fall. Maybe they can't. Okay, now one of them goes down. Okay, okay, no, never mind. We gotta use the lifts to get across. Oh, that's one. Okay, so gotta be in first gear for that. You oh, you got a new in box. So I wonder if you get the comic with it, because I, I had heard that if you bought the game new, it came with a comic. That's what we got over here. Cannon Clamp Central. What's down here? Oops, I drilled the wrong way, and now I'm going the opposite direction, okay? Up. I think I think I have to go down this way first. Or 
Goes third gear. Okay, come on, I can, I can make it up here, can't I? There we go. I guess you, ha you can't shift up when you make that jump. Yeah, don't, don't stop believing, yep. Okay, so... Let's just head back. Now we can go this way. Wait, well, I gotta, I gotta rev up my drill first before entering that duct. There we go. Oop, I went the wrong way. Oops, I pressed R. Okay, I, got, I gotta go back this way. We're, we're back here. They really should, Sam. This is a fantastic game. and I mean, Pokemon's great and all, but when you see what else they're capable of doing, it's like, why, why don't we get to see more of this? And unfortunately, this game sold horribly. It came out after the DS was already out, and so, like, nobody was interested in getting a Game Boy Advance game. Yeah, I didn't shift up quickly enough there. Ah, and now I'm all the way back here. Back up. Wrong one. I think I would have done this enough times to have it memorized by now. There we go. A lot of ducks. These, oh jeez, like, I, my two least favorite enemies in the game, all in one room. And we have to kill them to move on. up is not a terrible idea. Oh, I almost got him in time. Get out of my face. Fifty-one episodes? I didn't realize it was that long. And we got our hard-earned treasure. But I think this is, yet again, another level we're gonna have to re-enter. We are the ringleader now. Three treasures left in the game. Yeah, and that's the exit. So yeah, we gotta go back in here and take a, another path. I'm 
not even gonna look at the shop anymore. Not really any reason to. I did not hear about that, Sam. So now we want to go up this way. I was thinking I would, I would stick to the drum there, but I guess not. This is the part I hate. We gotta deal with more security lasers. How did that... I thought I was under that block. I guess you gotta kind of cross under the block instead of just standing still under it. Okay, they're gone. Get second gear. Slime turrets. Ah. Okay, good. Got them out of the way. So we can't go through the number three cannon clamp until we get third gear, which is right here. Oh, wall of text. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I'll see if they're successful. Oh god, we gotta defuse bombs while dealing with these slime turrets? That we can't even reach? God, this is gonna suck. off to whoever can do this flawlessly.
I'm probably not gonna get this one in time. Nope. We survived. A whole lot of stuff on the walls here. Oh hell, that's all it was. Not not that we couldn't use it, but guys. destroying them all. Jesus, turrets everywhere. And how, how am I supposed to grab onto that lift with these all this slime coming at me? I can't reach those. security lasers and this one's chasing me yeah this this is the part I remember really sucking because you got to be fast and, and precise Stupid jump. Guess I have to go up top there. I can't slide back that way. I jumped up there too quickly! Yeah, the first time I played this game, I remember having max energy tanks and still, like, almost dying. Okay, so I need to wait for that one to start going back down and then go up top. Ah, 
stop with that one. God. Oh, but there's still hope. That totally was not how I planned it, but it worked. Oh man, wow. But there's more! Oh yes, I remember this. You have to intentionally get caught by one of the lasers and then go through here. But you gotta be fast. Like... Hey, Rufio. Yeah, I, I said something similar to that, Sam, when I first got one of the energy tanks. <laughs> but you buy them in this game, you don't find them. And I'm, I'm really fucking this up now. Ah, oh, come on. I don't remember what the trick to this is. Oh, you have to get... Oh my god, wow. Hey, hey, Rockman. What is that that you linked there? Oh, house theme. Cool. I will have to listen to that later. As the sound goes haywire as I'm loading that up. Yeah, Rockman, we, we are currently in probably the most difficult bonus level in the game. So what was the trick to this? Because you can't you can't just shift up here and Yeah, that's not gonna get you far enough. You'd have to do a second one. But doing it one at a time doesn't seem like that's fast enough either. Oh, he just beat Wind Waker? Nice. I figured he would start, like, shortly after I did. Smoke started, like, shortly before I did, so I'm, like, competing with all these better streamers. Okay, I... I have an idea. Ah, uh, I... well, I screwed that up. I can't reach that, drilling that direction. Oh, wow. So, yeah, just jump down to your death like that. That's cool. There's no way you can do that fast enough. And I screwed up getting back, because I needed to shift up. Okay, so you do hop, hop, then turn and hop. I think that's how they want you to do it, and I... I was... 
I, I took too long, so the laser caught up to me there. And then I tried to dodge it and just ended up falling instead, so... Oops. I didn't... I wasn't ready for that. It, it is hard, Rufio. This, this is probably the hardest part of the entire game. It's optional, but, I mean, of course they save the... the hard optional stuff for... you know, like after you've beaten the game. Okay, may Okay, let me try something else. Oh, I can't reach that one if I just jump from there. I want, yeah, I wonder if I can shift up to second gear and then... Oh, wow. How did I... getting so frazzled right now. <sighs> I screwed that up, and I, I don't think that would have worked anyway. I don't think I would have been fast enough. Some of what I'm doing is just really stupid, and it's not not because it's actually difficult, but this is difficult even if you, like, aren't doing stupid things. Hey, Ratmus. If I shift a third, I can't clear them all. Just hear me mashing the L and R buttons there. be a better way to do that. Why don't I remember how to do this? <sighs> I thought it, maybe I could slide to it. It almost seems like that could work if I was just super fast at it. <sighs> I'm, I'm out of energy tanks, so... We could be seeing my first game over here. 
Okay, so that that's not gonna work. No, and that that doesn't work either, so if I if I do little hops like that, I'm gonna be positioned in the exact wrong spot to hit the last one. I feel like shifting up is not the answer here. I don't know, maybe it is. <sighs> How did I do this before? That, that's not what I wanted to do. Seems like I get more time if I let the one on the bottom hit me. There's no way I have enough time to shift up to second gear. Welcome back, Rock. Um, by the way, I finished watching your uh, the, your past broadcast of Tron Bon. Like your guys' commentary, and that was hilarious. Pretty much, Rock. Like I'm not. I'm really not sure what the right way to do this is right now. And I'm I'm very close to death here. My my life is dwindling away rapidly. I can't just like No, you can't just fall into it. <laughs> Pretty much raw. <right. laughs> Found some fat fucking money, Miss Tron. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the last attempt before I die. How far is it going to put me back when I continue? Okay, so it's just right here. So yeah, game over count one. can drill after dashing. Like, let's let's see if I can get to the second one by doing that. Holy shit! But we're not out of the woods yet. We gotta still get past this crap. Oh, I went too far! 
But yeah, th th thank you, Sam, for giving me that idea. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work, but it did. Okay, I can get there by sliding. <sighs> nope, that's not gonna make it. Okay, I guess I gotta go... Well, I could've gone then. Oh my god, we got it! Thank fuck! <sighs> Let's get out of here never to return again. One more level to go, two more treasures. Thank you guys. Well, real, really, thanks, Samboni. It was it was all his doing. And yeah, now I'm down some chips because I had to spend some to continue. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely not getting those last two energy tanks. Yeah, th thankfully the game auto saves for you. Hidden compartment. I do not remember this level. Dodging these sparks, it looks like. We get to hear this awesome Area 6 music again. Game Boy Advance, Rufio. And yeah, a lot of people haven't heard of it. Although, if you've played Smash Brothers Brawl, you might recognize the character I'm playing as. She's Jill. She's an assist trophy. Yeah, I perfectly mistimed that. There. All 
Alright, one more treasure to go. Skull Badge. Master Thief. There's third gear right above my head. bombs and I stupidly didn't get away in time. Okay, you gotta keep going down through those blocks. I, I wasn't quite sure what the game wanted me to do there. set off some bombs and then use that jelly block to get to safety. And that's not gonna do it. I, I'm not gonna be able to jump to that from there. Wow, didn't mean for that to happen, but okay. What am I doing? I need to slide across there. Now I can't make it. <laughs> Maybe, Ratmus, though. Luna, if he were here, he'd probably say, no, not at all. I have not seen that commercial, Sam. <laughs> oh, do I? Well, I can't drill through to that platform, because it's just going to be... Okay, let's see, what, what if I destroy this one first? And then use this to go up to the jelly block, yeah, that's what they want you to do. Uh, what we got going on here? I figured that would be a bomb. Jump! There we go. And that's it. That's the last treasure. Bone Bell. Crime Boss. <laughs> the top of Carrie's hair there is really strange.
poor cop lady. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at all the treasures that we've picked up. Saddle all these before. Okay, barnacle coin. Stinky shroom. Nobody dares to go near where it grows. <laughs> this fossil proves that computers existed in ancient times, so we've proven that drill dozers, thieves, and computers existed in ancient times. This top starts spinning, it'll gyrate forever. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> Unknown animal. <laughs> Each grain in this pile is shaped like a cow. <laughs> Is it ancient Hylian? Alright, so that that's all the treasure, but there is one more thing I want to show before we fit we wrap this up and move on to Fortune Street. I want to go to the training course. I never actually went here during the game. And for the most part, this place is just to, like, get you used to the controls and stuff. But if you go down here, once you've gotten your, your drill bit maxed out, you come into this mysterious-looking room. What this room is for is for entering codes. And you're never going to find these codes in the game. You just have to, like, look them up and know what they are. A, a lot of the codes, like, give you different outfits for Jill, and I think some of them are different wallpapers for the, like, the main menu. And one of them act activates a hard mode. I've never tried hard mode, and I don't think I ever will, because hard mode is one-hit death. And considering how much you normally get hit throughout the course of this game, I, I think that just sounds insane. But yeah, I, I have another file where I've input all the codes and unlocked all this stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm certainly not going to do it here, but yeah, that, that just exits the level. But yeah, I just, I just kind of wanted to show that. Alright, so that is it for Drill Dozer, so we are going to switch games. I do hope you guys enjoyed that game. It's, well, as I said, it's one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games. So I gotta, I gotta unhook the GameCube and hook up the Wii to my capture card here. So for those of you who haven't played Fortune Street before, it is a board game, not unlike Monopoly, but I, I think Fortune Street is better than Monopoly. I first saw it when I watched the Runaway Guys play it, and, like, during part one of their, of their I guess it's not really a let's play, it's more of a competition, of, of that game, I was like, why am I even watching this? But by the end of it, I was so on the edge of my seat and, like, I interested to see who was going to pull ahead. Okay, good. It's capturing the Wii. Fine. We'll have to see how the sound is once I get the game going. 
Oh, so so you've you've played it before, Sam? Yeah, Monopoly plus stock markets. That's probably a good way to sum it up. Uh, where is it? There it is. Do I do I have anything in here right now? No, I don't. Probably change the the title and definitely the game. says my stream configuration quality is acceptable right now. Usually it's at excellent, so... Max keyframe interval is currently at 3.917 seconds. Please set it to 2 seconds. Learn what you can do to improve the quality. Well, I do want to learn what I can do, but not while I'm streaming. Just change the the game and the title. It sounded from the the intro thing that this game is louder than Drill Dozer, but you guys will have to let me know. Like if you can still hear me over the game fine. I always play on standard rules, I have never played on easy rules. I have completed the entire tour mode. I'm just gonna do a free play here. And I'm- I think I'm gonna give some A rank computers. Let's do Bowser. And I guess, yeah, Angelo's the only other one, so... Yeah, that, I mean, the, the stock market is what adds, like, the main element of strategy to the game, and so that, I, I would not, easy rules will just make it so much more luck-based. I think I'm gonna do Peach's Castle. I haven't played this board in a while. Settings. And, I, and the music here is pretty awesome, particularly if you've played Super Mario RPG, you'll recognize it. Let's do bankruptcy limit of three players. And yeah, that's that's all good. What is that suit that I'm wearing? It's like a futuristic one, and I've got a bob -omb mascot. Looks like I'm going second. So yeah, I recognize that Mushroom Kingdom music from Super Mario RPG. So yeah, like Monopoly, you move around the board and buy properties, and if, if someone lands on a property you own, then they have to pay you. Oh wait, hold on. Do I have to change the options here? No, it's already on fast and no chat, that's good. That'll make the game go faster. Let's see, I could go with pink. 
I don't want to get a venture car. The the question mark spaces here that I could be landing on allow you to draw a venture card, which is kind of like chance and community chest. I could go for one of these cheap properties. Well, all of them are going to be cheap. I guess I'll... No, go back. I'll go for the, the most expensive one. <laughs> That's what all the boards are like in this game. They're, they're floating above the background. So our goal... We start with a net worth of 1,500. Our goal is to get to 20,000. properties in the area. If you have any questions about the rules as we play, feel free to ask. I, I can certainly explain them. Alright, that'll give me two shops in a district, so when... Notice how the, there's those four shops next to each other that have a pink border. That means they're all in the same district, which is kind of like, you know, the color groups in Monopoly. And if you get more than one in the same district, the shop's values go up. Hey, Alfred, and, um, yeah, you're the only one who came in here. Okay, good, he didn't get another purple one. Hunter to zoom to any non-venture, non-suit square you'd like. It's going all the way over there, okay. Okay, no, no problem, Rock. So one, one of our goals as we move around the board is to collect the four suits that you see, the, the card suits, the heart, the heart, the diamond, the spade, and the club, and then get back to the bank, because then we'll get a promotion, which is kind of like passing go in Monopoly. Uh, of course, I'm the first person to land on someone else's property, so I gotta pay Angelo 74 gold there. He got two in a district. Ah, oh, but Angelo's gonna get that one, so that'll prevent him from dominating the district. So Mario has to pay Bowser. Just 12, though. Okay, see you when you get back, Alfred. Yes, you can roll a 7 or an 8 on a 6-sided die somehow. Okay, so that'll land me on the diamond. Do I real do I want to go that way? If I go to the bank, then I have to yeah, I have to go diagonally up that way. Do I want to do that? That'll just land me on a venture card square. So no, I'd rather go get a suit. So landing on a a suit square does the same thing as landing on a venture car in space. Hey, DJ Pernicus. And... Jax and... Ismuas and... Where, where are all these people coming from? Is this a raid? Oh, you're Cody, hey! <laughs> yeah, so th this guy is a friend of my brother's. And I, I saw you recently follow me, so I'll probably have to follow you back. Yeah, it's it's okay, guys. I, I know this guy. So, uh, another thing about these venture cards is that this, this is kind of a bingo board here. You want to try to line up as many in a row as you can. Um, let's see, where am I going to start at? Let's go here. 
Okay, get to roll again, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you for the raid, and hello to everyone coming in here. Oh, that sucks, I have to pay Bowser if I go up. Let's see, I could go this way then around and up to get the remaining suit. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'd rather land on the bank than land on Bowser's space. So th yeah, this is another part of the game that's completely different from Napoli, the fact that you can buy stocks. So I think I want to buy in my own district, because when whenever someone improves one of their, their shops, the stock price will go up and you'll make money that way. Let's do... Seventy. Hey, Ramimi. Bowser landed on Mario. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Kodav, thank you for the follow. If you guys were just coming from, like, a Counter-Strike stream, then you might not find this particularly entertaining, but... Uh, Diabetic Crow, thank you for the follow. Mario gets the first one in the green district. The amount you have to pay... I don't... I think that's true. Well, I guess I want to get the commission, because I don't want to shut my stores off for a turn. Yeah, so let's go this way. So now, if anyone lands on someone else's shop until my next turn, I will get a cut of the profits. Oh, it was Smite? Okay. Yeah, this, this is a little different from Smite. Sixty-four? Well, that is a personal record for me. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in. Now I feel awkward, because I'm playing this game that, like, not that many people know. <laughs> okay, so wh whoever was playing there, Mario, was won some gold as he got some matches. Okay, let's buy this. But yeah, if you have any questions about this game, feel free to ask. I made my first bit of dough there from Bowser. So he gets to play a minigame now. All the minigames in this are pretty much luck-based, although, like, for this one, you know, obviously, that you're not supposed to hit the small question mark box. And great, he gets a 1-up, but he doesn't have that many shops right now, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. <laughs> Alright, th thanks, guys. Stock price goes up a couple places, but nobody has stock there, so that doesn't affect anything. Um... I'm gonna sell... nine stocks. Although, considering the stock price isn't even going to change right now, I don't know if this is even really going to be that, make that much of a difference, but normally, if, you, if you're if you going to sell stocks, you only want to sell 9, and no more than that, because if you sell 10 or more, it could ca cause the stock price to drop. But I'm actually going to have to sell more anyway, because I bought that shop. So 
let, let's sell more. I mean, the stock price isn't going down right now. Yeah, that's that's not really what I'm about, though. I don't I don't want to play games just because they're popular. And hey, hey there, Zar Zar Zarkul, thank you for the follow. And Olfang the Black, thank you for the follow. <laughs> hey, Vidoy. Yeah, it's well, it has Mario characters in it, but it's not really a Mario game. And hey, I just got paid. D worse, thank you for the follow. Yeah, just like Mario Party, except not at all. Addy Bun, thank you for the follow. Feel free, you guys who are following, to introduce yourselves in chat. We don't bite here. Oh, he, he's the first one to get one of those red ones in the middle. McShadow, thank you for the follow. He has to sell some stocks. Oh, damn, Mario's gonna get that one. Maybe I can buy it from him later. Spade, and I ended up landing on that shop anyway, even though I was trying to avoid it earlier. Link's knife. <laughs> okay, now, so every one of us has all the suits, so we, we're all gonna be heading back to the bank right now, and as you can see, Bowser made it back first, so he's gonna get some money for that. And every time you pass the bank, you get to buy stocks. But he's taking the day off, so... Anyone who lands on one of his shops until his next turn will not have to pay him. I am, for the most part, pretty old school. I mean, th this is actually one of the newer games that I've streamed. Batman game? Are, are you talking to me, or are you talking to someone else? I don't remember talking about a Batman game last night. Oh, now I'm gonna have to take the day off, because I, I don't want to have to go all the way around the board just to get back to the bank. Oh, the Adventures of Batman and Robin. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Sam. Rockman, uh, welcome back. We apparently got a raid from someone I... my brother knows in real life, actually. I... I actually did stream the old Ninja Gaiden games. But you're probably talking about the newer ones, and I don't really have any interest in playing those. As far as super hard games are concerned, though, I may stream I Want to Be the Boshi at some point. Um... Yeah, if I sell, I will have to... I will make the stock price crash, so I think I'm gonna... I'm almost back at the bank anyway, so I'm gonna sell out here, and then... Once I get promoted, buy more stocks. Yeah, the old games are hard, for sure. I'd also like to stream Battletoads again. I, I streamed that once, but I, like, didn't have any viewers at the time. We're all picking up the red... Oh, never mind, he'd, he'd have to sell a shop to get that. 
Okay, first promotion. Where do I want to buy? I could go back here. Well, th okay, this one's gonna be cheaper. But this one has a little more max capital. I could get 90, or I could get 74. They're going into that district. I don't think I want to get involved in that. I'll go for this one right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy as many ca as I can this turn. Mm, and I can land on one of my shops and spruce it up. And that'll make the stock price go up, so yeah, I, I'll go ahead and do that. So I can put 100 into that one. Or 280 into that one. I'm gonna go for this one. So now it's gonna cost someone 195 if they land on that. And the stock price goes up, and look, I just made 270 gold. But now I have to sell some stocks. Yeah, 23, that's fine. And then it goes up again because not only did I did buying stock there raise the price, but also improving my shop there raised the price. It is a lot like Monopoly, yes, Vidoy. It just has it also has stocks in it. I, I've played a fair amount of iconic childhood games. There, there are some that I have yet to stream, like uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, let's... yeah, let's sell 9. Hey, Mario. I have not streamed Mario Sunshine. That is not one of my favorite Mario games. I mean, I might stream it someday, but it would not be 100%. It'd just be a beat-the-game kind of run. And Bowser gave himself some stocks. Oh yeah, Sam has been playing it, so yeah, if you like Mario Sunshine, you should probably follow him. Stereoopoly. <laughs> He's not improving anything, I will sell some more stocks. isn't bad. No, oh, and one thing you can do is when you land on someone else's shop and you have to pay them, you can actually force buy the shop from them for five times its value. It's like so if there if someone's if like if you got three in a district and they've got the last one, you can you can force them to sell it to you. He's gonna get a venture card. All shops charge a hundred gold flat rate. That could be ugly this early in the game, because most shops don't charge that much yet. See, he's got two of the reds. Mario's gonna pick up another purple. <laughs> All three of the computers have stocks in that same district, and I'm just doing my own thing. Eh, 
I I need to get the suit, so I'm I'm gonna go up and pay a hundred. I real I should have sold some more stock. He gets a free suit yourself card, so if you have three suits and a suit yourself card, you can go back to the bank and get promoted. So like that's that's what he has right now. But you expend the suit yourself card once you go back to the bank and get promoted. Three, three, damn it. <laughs> he he missed my 195 shop. Come on, I need bigger rolls than that. So nine. <laughs> Taco hype. Yes, 195. Eat it, Bowser, and I get 39 extra from my my stock dividends. He had to sell all his stock. Hopefully Angelo will get another one on his next turn. Ah, crap. Mario's gonna get both of those. Those are gonna be harder to get from him, then. I may be better off focusing my effort in efforts in the pink district. Oh, we got an 8. Ooh, a 700. Do I want to spend that much? That's What's that going to put me at? I'll have 170 in stocks left, and I still have to get all the way around the board, so I don't... I don't know if that's worth getting right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save my money. That's Bowser's second promotion. He's speeding around the board, but then he had that suit yourself card as well. Haha. -ha. Bowser had to pay me two turns in a row. Well, he's making some money from stocks over there. Ah, oh, damn, didn't get a one. Okay, see you when you get back, Sam. He's lying on his own shop. He's not going to spruce anything up, though. Okay, just out of curiosity, how much is Mario willing to give me? Or how, how much does he want from me for this? 382, that's, that's actually not bad. But I don't want it yet. I, I want to. May, I'll maybe buy it when I get closer to the bank. Bowser gets a venture card. Oh, he's forced to auction one of his shops. This could be interesting. Oh, that's. Who cares about that one? Well, Mario probably wants it. No, he's not gonna bid on it? Okay, I'll... Okay, now he's gonna st try to stop me from getting it. I, I will go no higher than 300. And that's where he's gonna stop, really. It's like he was reading my mind. He's going to District A.